Hello everyone, Grayson here. Are you having issues fighting Aunt Ethel? Or Aunt Ethel? How about getting around her traps and the crazy walls you need to bypass? This video will take you through the whole process of getting down to her room and some strategies to make your life easier. Oh, and did you know there is a secret door here to go to the Underdark? I will show you how to find it and get past the door. When talking with Auntie Ethel, you can get her to a point where she offers to remove the parasite and removes your eye for it. This ends up giving you a plus one to intimidation and disadvantage on perception checks. If you complain about it more, it gives you a plus one stat item that lasts till your long rest. If you built your character around intimidation, then this would help, but taking a hit on perception is not good. Also, this is not the most ideal outcome as you are not saving Marina and you get better rewards if you go after her. Make sure you take a long rest before transitioning to the overgrown tunnel on the other side of the fireplace. The rest at the top of the stairs, because everything past this point will not let you take a long rest. You can short rest, but you will want to make sure your spell slots are all available. Make sure you have silent, if you have it, and create water slotted, uh, as well as any low level projectiles. Magic missile works well for the final fight. When you get to the door with a face on it, you can talk to it and it will give you its tormented story on what the hag has done to it. If you know of a different way through the door, please let us know in the comments down below. Grab the mask on the table, technically you only need one, then position all your people as close to the door as you can. These masks are dangerous. You only want to have the mask on for less than the span of time it takes to put on the mask, move through the wall, and then take it off. The easiest way to accomplish this is to drop into a turn-based mode and with each character put the mask on, move through the wall, and take it off in the span of one character turn. If you leave it on for too long, Auntie Ethel will take over that character's mind and attack the rest of the party. The fight with these four in the next room is pretty straightforward. Just be conservative on your spell slots and as much as possible. Use potions for healing when needed. Uh, they are pretty straightforward, except they cast Frighten. Uh, it can be debilitating because it doesn't allow you to move and you end up being easier to hit, um, but you can overcome that with a lot of range. Um, just be as conservative as you can. You're going to want to save a lot of spell slots for when you fight Auntie Ethel. This next section here is a mess. You have to traverse this area through uh, the gas clouds without you know, blowing yourself up at the same time. All the gas is obviously explosive. Uh, the flowers explode when you touch them. So what I do is I throw random things at items at the towers. I had like some hammers or some bottles you pick up, just junk. Uh, I threw at them at them so I wouldn't get blown up. So clearing my way through them slowly. Uh, you can skirt the first cloud and from there you can jump across or go down. If you explode the flowers at the bottom, the ladder will blow up. I found it easier to clear the upper section, jump, and explode the flowers down below, hoping that you can get the perception check for the vent. Once a vent is found, throw something on that. At that point, the gas cloud will stop erupting. When you jump down, watch the mouse reticule to see if you're going to take damage or if you're going to go prone. You can position yourself and jump down without damage here if you take your time. Just rinse and repeat on the next cloud. Clear flowers with trash and then block the vent with other trash. Now you are in the boss room for the hag. You can approach this fight in many ways. Some people I have seen use an invisibility potion in releasing Marina before the things start, which is a great strategy, but I am just going to give you a different take on this. At the start of the battle, the hag will set fire to the cage Marina is in. Just cast Create Water on it. This stops the cage from taking any further damage, and you can ignore Marina for a bit. The hag splits herself into three illusions and herself. These illusions do real damage, so you should get them down as soon as possible. I use Gale, but anything you have with a range will work. Placing Gale at the top of the middle allowed me to use one magic missile cast, and using one bolt for hag, we were able to clear the battlefield quickly. When you get into combat with the hag, and your melee characters are face to face, you can use your silent spell in the area around her. This stops her from porting around or casting any further spells. She is mostly a spellcaster, so there's not much more she can do, but run. 
If for any reason you don't get that far before she tries to trick you one last time by porting Marina to the area near her and making herself look like her twin, she is trying to trick you into killing her. The placement in who is who is random every time. There is one trick though, and why I prefer to do the fight this way. One Marina will have the condition of wet on her when you mouse over. Due to the earlier cast on her cage, this is the real Marina, so shoot the other one. When the hag is low on health, she will start a conversation, and if you choose to intimidate her and win the roll, you can get Marina and the power. This is the outcome you want. You will receive a permanent stat increase to, of your choice and save Marina. Once successful, she will give you the stat of choice in the form of hag hair, so choose wisely. Make sure to talk to Marina after the witch's dialogue. Once done, make sure you go in the door down here. There is a wand in here called Bitter Divorce. Make sure to take it. There are po potions on the ground here that give you debuffs. I don't even bother with them. Pick up the note and read them for the lore. Then pick up the Everseeing Eye and the Staff of Crones. Use the mushroom circle in this room to teleport to the surface. You will find Marina up here next to her husband's coffin. You can do this encounter multiple ways. Keep the wand or destroy it, and she will be very angry at you. Or you can use the wand on her husband and hand it over. She will head back to Baldur's Gate looking for a cure. I am curious how this ends up when we get to the city. Alright, now the secret entrance to the Underdark. Use the same mushroom circle to go back down to the hag area. Then walk back out the way you came in towards the gas trap area. Hold to the left and make this jump here. Use your mask and you will get through the door. Don't worry about getting charmed as the hag is gone or dead, whatever you chose. Behind the door is another mushroom circle. This one takes you into the Underdark. Keep in mind, there are three ways into the Underdark. This is just one of them. I love this encounter and the many different outcomes. I'm even more excited to see what happens with all this when I get to Baldur's Gate. Please make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you all, and we will see you in the next video.